welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're making a bow saw, so stick around. For today's period of instruction, we'll be using number 36 bank line, a 21 inch saw blade, and two key rings. Right now I'm looking for a stick approximately three foot long by one to one and a half inches in diameter. If it's got a slight curvature to it, that's even better. Alright, we have our stick. Now what I want to do is I want to start bending this in the shape of a bow. For this, there's several methods. You could always do the old Schwarzenegger. <clears throat> or, take the easy approach and sit back like this. Place the stick underneath your knees and use your body weight and lean back and slightly bend it. Then just shift the stick down and repeat. Be careful not to overbend it, otherwise you could fracture your stick and you have to start over. Now we got our 21 inch saw blade right here. Typically you want your bow to run 8 to 10 inches longer than your saw blade. So in this case we're looking for about 30 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that right here. Now we just talked about making the bow longer than the blade itself. For this demonstration we went 8 to 10 inches longer than our saw blade. I'll show you why. The longer the bow, the easier it is to bend. Also the longer the bow, the greater the distance is between the bow and the saw blade, which will allow you to cut larger pieces of wood. Now that my stick resembles a bow, what I want to do is I want to take my knife and I want to go ahead and I want to split each end of this bow. The reason why I'm doing that is so I can insert my saw blade. However, before I do that, I want to lash each end here to prevent that split from traveling all the way through this bow. Now I'm going to use my number 36 bank line for my lashings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my saw blade as a reference. Now this is 21 inches. I'm going to go ahead and cut two of these. For your lashings, what you want to do is make a small bite. Now on this bow here, what I want to do is I want to start wrapping approximately one to one and a half inches from the ends. So you want to take that tail and place it right where you want to start. Just like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this other end, I'm going to wrap it around. Just like so. I'm going to continue working towards that loop. I'm going to pull it tight and keep going. Now once I get to the end, I'm going to lift that loop up and pass my end through.
Now, all you gotta do is pull on this end right here. If you notice, it's tucking it underneath. The tighter you can get this, the better. And for a final touch, once you've done this to both ends, take your knife, and you can trim your bank line. All right, now we're at the critical path. What I want to do is I want to use my knife. I want to go ahead and baton and split both of these ends so I can insert my blade. Now there's one final step for our saw blade prior to inserting it inside the bow. What we want to do is take our key rings and you want to place it through the outside hole on both ends of this blade. Now I said key rings, however for me, like everything else, I'm going to take it to the next level. My rings are from grenade pins. taking my saw and my bow, I'm going to grab that ring, I'm going to walk it down inside that splice. Just like so. Now for the opposite end, I'm going to place the bow on my right foot. I'm going to step through it with my left leg, take my left hand, I'm going to push down while pulling up with my right hand. There you go.
Welcome back. That was outstanding. That was motivating. Remember, a longer bow does two things. One, a longer bow is easier to bend. And two, a longer bow will give you a greater or a deeper distance between the bow and the saw blade, which will allow you to cut larger pieces of wood. Hope you enjoyed this video. With that, catch you next time.